Well, this is Raymond Mayfield, and really glad to be with you again today. You can find all of my videos. I think there's 89 of them up there now on many different subjects in the Bible. RaymondMayfield.com, and I appreciate you listening to those videos very much. Uh, and today I'm going to talk to you about counseling, and I want to talk to you about some of the experiences I've had in counseling. I've been a pastor for many years. I've held credentials with the Assemblies of God for 55 years. I received my 50-year pen from the Oklahoma District uh, Council of the Assemblies of God five years ago. Because of the years involved, I've been blessed to counsel with many numbers of people. One experience that comes to my mind happened a number of years ago. And a young man came to my church and received the Lord of his Savior. He later told me, and I learned, that him and his wife were separated, and she lived a hundred miles away, and they had two small children. He wanted me to counsel with them, but she belonged to a different church, and she thought somehow that the counseling would not go in her favor, and so... Uh, we tried intently, and he tried to get her to come and talk with me, and finally he convinced her to come and talk with me. And when you're counseling in a marriage situation, it's always best to talk to the man and wife together. But in some cases, that's not possible, and so we do the best we can uh, sometimes in some situation. In my first session, she was very skeptical, and she felt that the counseling session would be one-sided and didn't listen too much because uh, she felt that it would be one-sided. The session did go well enough that she decided to return for some more sessions. I listened intently to both sides and then talked to them about what it would take to put their marriage back together. Both sides had to listen to one another and what one another had to say. And after a lot of prayer and, and God's direction, they decided to put their lives back together. That made me feel, feel real good because God is always interested in marriages and, and putting marriages back together. God loves marriage. Uh, he invented it. And thank God for all marriages today. God's blessing us up on the marriage vow. God loves marriage and He invented it, and God wants marriages to work. He wants your marriage to work. And there are many wrecked marriages today all across the world. I think it's around 60% now that all marriages don't work out. But putting God in our lives is the first step. Being faithful to one another builds a lot of trust and once that trust is broken it's always hard to retrieve that the ones that received counseling did put their lives back together and most of all they put their families back together and their children back together and their mother and father back together and that's always a blessing to be able to do that the one that received counseling uh, got help and they started going to church on a regular basis. He eventually became my youth pastor uh, and his family attended our church on a regular basis. To God be the glory. I want to tell you that I can help many people in many different situations uh, and I do have, a count have two counseling sites. One is counselsofpeace.com and the and the another one is counselsoftruth.com. There is uh, there is information on phone numbers up there where you can call me. I do counseling on the phone, or I can do it in person if you live close by. I can do it uh, also in person, and I, I do counseling in all types of sessions. Uh, it doesn't just have to be marriage sessions, but I've counseled with people in various, various needs of their life, with uh, drug abuse and every kind, with people that have various kinds of difficulty, medical problems, I've counseled with them, and I'd love to talk to you. In every session that I can, I would be happy to visit with you. And this is Raymond Mayfield, and I hope this testimony today 
has made you realize that there is hope for all of us in every situation. And may God bless you today. Thank you for listening to me today. And I'll talk to you again real soon.